Yo, this is massive, a viral experience. 22.8 million views. This was posted Jan 11th, man. Unbelievable. And this is on X. This was posted. I haven't watched it. All right, I'm going to do it with you right now. Live. It's, it's seven. It's nine minutes. I might be able to play this fast. I like to play it at 1.5x. Yeah, if you want to play the original, please go refer to it. And then I'm going to give you my two cent. I'm going to also give you my personal experience getting laid off, which is interesting. Maybe not. Um, I, like, let's hold that thought for a second, all right? Getting fired is tough, but it's important to handle it with dignity. Firing someone is also hard, requiring com compassion and respect. Total disaster on both sides here. So this was posted by SMB attorney, some dude with 100k followers. However, this video is takes on TikTok. Alex, some person, all right? She actually worked um, at uh, Cloudflare. And I happen to use Cloudflare. Cloudflare powers a majority of the, the internet, man. It's what it is. And uh, most of my websites are actually, you know, they're routed through it, Cloudflare. So when I saw this, I was like, hold on, Cloudflare. And she got laid off. She's one of the higher tech, I guess. All right. So they have experience. And some of the comments. Irony, if you look at this, there's a response to it. And obviously, he's making fun of this one. Because check this out. Here's to a new year. Grateful to have been named one of the 2024 best places to work. And then she gets laid off. So this is posted by Cloudflare. And she said, you know, obviously, he's kind of being sarcastic. He's like, hey, this is the best place to work. And then she, she basically gets laid off. And guess what? I've changed my mind. The CEO has waded in. You should hear him out. So this is actually the CEO saw the video, which it got viral, right? And he responded on X, which I'm going to read as well. But I'm actually going to watch this video. All right, you ready? Let's finish it off before my cat goes through nuts. Hey, Brittany. Hi. Yes, I'm so sorry. My name's Rosie. I'm just uh, joining the call. Um, nice to meet you. I'm on the HR team. Hi, Brittany. Hi. Thanks for meeting with me and Rosie. Um, we have an important meeting today. Uh, we finished our evaluations of 2023 performance. This is where you have not met Cloudflare expectations for performance. We've decided to part ways with you. Yeah, I'm going to stop right there. Sure. Um, so I started August 25th. I've been on a three-month ramp. And then it was three weeks of December. And then a week of Christmas. And then here we are. Um, I have had the highest activity amongst my team um, since I've started. I have had three contracts out, done a really great job managing my deals up until the very end that decided not to close last minute. Um, so I don't think that that makes a lot of sense for me in my Cloudflare journey here so far. Also, um, every single one-on-one -on -one I've had with my manager, every conversation I've had with him, has he has been giving me nothing but I am doing a great job. I have had great activity. I have really great meetings. I'm picking up the products very quickly and um, things have been going really, really well. I make really great relationships with my clients. Um, so I disagree that my performance hasn't been, um, I haven't met performance expectations, um, when I certainly have just because I haven't closed anything officially. I hear you. Um, also, you. why are you doing this and not my manager? Not, you know, we've never met. So this seems a little odd that my manager has no idea that this has been happening and the director has no idea that this has been happening. So I'm just definitely confused. And, um, hmm. yeah, I would love like an explanation that makes sense. hundred percent. Um, I'm actually going to watch this entire stuff, then give my comment, okay? There's quite a bunch of stuff actually just hit me. She was recording this live while, okay, that's unexpected. Okay, interesting. Okay, let me carve out the, the two threads, um, the latter of why I'm on this conversation. I'll, I'll put that one to the second half. It's kind of funny. She was expecting some call like this, because she seems like she was totally ready with all the phone and stuff. I don't know, I'm just saying. And, um, okay, I get it. Like... Someone reaches out, and why can't they just make it very straightforward and simple? Saying, hey, you did not, instead of saying you didn't meet the expectation, oh, okay, shareholders didn't make money, we are losing, we are not as profitable as we used to be, so we are laying off. Um, yeah, people just come out with all this, yeah, ex please excuse my cat, she's just gone nuts right now. Come on, Sushi, can, we, can I finish this? Anyway, that's, this is a playtime, I have to do this regardless, but... Yeah, you get the point. They have to sugarcoat and like, hey, you know, we have to let you go because your performance is bad. And then now she's retaliating, saying, no, it's not right. I mean, I have not seen that much, but I'm going to hold that thought because I only got laid off once. And I only had one job in my entire life over here in USA as an immigrant. And only for eight months, I think, no, seven, eight months. And 
I just got my health insurance and that the guy comes home and says, you're fired. Well, you have, you have to let you go. Not fired, but that was a supervisor. That's crazy. It was a home-based work. I was so excited cooking chicken. But anyway, let's come back to that in a second. Let me finish this. So it might be better to explain the process of who's giving this information in the prior piece, which is your uh, feedback and, and notes about your performance. So we had a little context to that. So um, just for clarification, you might be seen out in this. Your peers are also being collectively um, assessed on performance. This is a collective collaboration for Cloudflare. So I just want to clarify that piece. I won't be able to add any kind of specifics on numbers or- Wait, yeah, no, can you explain for me why Brittany Peach is getting let go? The, I won't be able to go into specifics for numbers. Wait, why though? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now that is a little dirty, but okay, you know what? I mean, yeah, if you're comparing yourself with peers, you're like, hey man, I've been working with this person for so long and we were so similar. How, how is it like the person is in and I'm out? Yeah, I mean, okay, that's a reasonable question, but well, I mean, this is a, a kind of law, right? Corporations, you're fired. Yeah, you're fired. I don't care what you are. They just sugarcoat stuff just for the public, I guess, not to make you feel bad. I don't know, I'm just saying. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's being profitable. It's money, right? Man, look at my cat. I just started. I've been working extremely hard. Just Sushi, you didn't get laid off. I think you need to get laid off. Stop it. Just because I haven't closed anything that has nothing to do with my performance on a three-month ramp with just one month with two major holidays in the middle, I don't think that has anything to do with why I should be let go, if that makes sense. So I really need an answer and an explanation as to why Brittany Peach is getting let go, not why Cloudflare decided to hire too many people and are now actually realizing that they can't afford this many people and are letting that go. If that's the real answer, I would rather just you tell me that instead of making up some bullshit and telling me <coughs> why I lose my job from someone that I've never met before. She's straight up. She's straight up. <laughs> if you can respect that. Yeah, I can totally respect that. And I don't think Dom or myself today is going to give you any clarity or answers that's going to um, meet the expectations that you're communicating to us, Brittany. So I can't speak to... So am I, am I getting let go for no reason? If you guys can't give me a reason? I'm happy to follow up with you separately to give you the data that was calibrated. I'll need to speak with um, revenue leadership specifically to see if we can get that for you. But Dom and can I you share that with me now? Meeting. I cannot share that with you right now, unfortunately. Yeah, it's understandable how you feel and your frustration cannot... Stress that it's also really hard to do and you're just recording yourself live like uh, you're probably controlling yourself like trying to shed tears or something or burst out and at the same time you're like hey you know what i'm gonna put this out or whatever i don't know man a lot of thought process goes in right it's crazy man all right let's actually finish it off we're halfway working extremely hard I, sorry i just knew that this meeting was coming after knowing what's been happening with my peers and how extremely frustrated and upset everyone is um i know you guys must not be able to understand that given the, in the positions that you are in and it must be very easy for you to just have these little 10 minute 15 minute meetings tell someone that they're fired completely wreck their whole life and then that's it with no explanation that's extremely traumatizing for people if you can imagine that and i don't i don't think that this is it's it's just very very shocking very very shocking i've like really given my whole energy and life over the last four months of this job and to be let go for no reason is like a huge slap in the face from a company that i really want to believe in it's just hard i mean the reason is we are not profitable and the whole mass layer take off take layoff i even mentioned this right in one of the previous videos twitch laid off 30 uh, some person 40 person i mean this is huge it's not a google lays, laid off amazon and it's massive so i understand this but what is she waiting for the reason i'm just curious like yeah I, it's it sucks she worked four months. She was hoping to be there long enough. I even mentioned my brother-in-law who works in one of these um, pretty decent tech company. 1,000, 50% of his work like force got laid off. He's in a senior um, you know, programming engineer level. So he was there, but he's literally telling me, man, I, I'm, you know, I'm telling you that it could happen to me as well, just like anybody else. And I can see this happen. Like it's, just, it's wide, you know, nationwide, not just in one company. So, yeah, but it's just saying, hey, why did you fire me? Yeah, you know, your, your performance. Just tell me the truth. Oh, yeah, we are not profitable. Yeah, I mean, that's the a, that's a truth, right? It's, it's the money. It's all about money. You cut workforce because of money. It's what it is. I can absolutely understand how you feel that way, why you feel that way. And I'll be honest with you, there's nothing that we're going to say in this call in the time that we have that's going to undo the way that you feel right in this moment. Yeah, I mean... I personally will do everything that I can to give you as much specific information. It's not like you're you rehired. I can't make any promises. They have already made decision, right? It's like, uh, we're going to let her go and just make it nice and easy. But she's just holding on to whatever she can get out of them. I mean, yeah, that's reasonable as well. This is sad. Uh, I understand where you're coming from. I can tell you that Dom and I do care. I understand the feeling that you have right now. Um, and I can't change that. So I'll just be honest. But why can't, so, but there, you guys have still not given me a reason why I'm being let go. Just no money. Oh, man.
despite constant positive praise from my manager, great meetings that I'm having. But you get the point as well, right? The corporations cannot just come to tell you on your face, right? Because people, it's, it's, you never know who's recording and all that. Hey, we are just doing this for money. You can't just do that. You can't say that. So you have to be very careful as in corporation side. You have to be very careful with your words and choices, right? Because it has implications, consequences once it's out there. So, man, this is crazy, though, when you see it from both sides. Because let's say they want to explain, like, inside, they're like, oh, bitch, I told you, you know, this, because of this, because you, you want to producing, because of, you want to making money. But they can't say it in front of the public face. Um, the amount of activity that I have has all been positive. I have not received any negative inclination. I have not been put on a performance improvement plan. Um, nothing. So... I, I cannot speak to what your manager has communicated to you directly. But that you should be the indication of poor performance based on your attainment and meeting indicators of data. I, that is that is the rationale. But I've been here for only a month after ramping, and that was during the holiday. So I don't understand what those. Can you explain what those performance metrics are, or is that just like a a, a vague term to give to everyone that you're speaking to today? I'll say that the the performance indicators and performance metrics are. While they are, we're not able to go into specifics, and we won't, there's no situation where we will be able to go into Do you guys specifics. even know? Do you guys even know, like, why, like, who you're talking to each day? Like, every single 10, 15 minutes, do you guys even know who you're talking to? Like, why you're letting these people go when you don't even understand, like, the kind of work and everything that they've put in? I hear you, what you're saying. Maybe they have a separate department, like, people who are just hired to fire people. Yeah, they have a department, I guess, nowadays, that there's a, there are people who are just there, their work and job is to call their employees and say you're fired unbelievable it just doesn't make it it just doesn't make any sense that you guys have still not been able to give me a reason why i'm being let go just for, from a process perspective your questions are valid this isn't going to be the forum and the situation where we're able to go into the detail that you're but, then, for. but then when if it's not right as i'm getting fired then it's certainly not going to be after when i'm no longer part of the company no so i don't think there's anything we can say in this moment or today Brittany, that's going to change the way that you feel and it's under again it's understandable i'm taking notes and feedback just hang up um because i think it's clear that you have questions that we cannot get thank you dom uh, okay, and I'm, again, I'm really sorry that you're having this experience and feeling this way. And um, one of the things that we want to confirm is your personal email address because that's where. Uh, yeah, I mean, that that's crazy. And you know what's in her mind? Like, thingy is like, outburst. Four months into something and getting laid off—that's as tough. I I personally only have one experience in my entire life, which I'm going to come to in a second. But I'm going to read the the CEO, okay? Without wasting any time, read the CEO's part, and then we're going to figure out next. All right, give me a second. Oh, whoa. Whoa. All right, let's finish it off. All right, so SMB, let's check out the CEO, okay? This is his response. The CEO of Cloudflare, this dude, Matthew Prince, whoa, has waited in. What do you think of his response? All right, so basically, <laughs> this is his response. Let me see. We fired approximately 40 salespeople out of over. Let's actually get back on track. All right, let's do this. Over 1,500 in our go-to-market org. That's a normal quarter. When we are doing performance management, right, we can often tell within three months or less of a sales hiree, even during the holidays, whether they are going to be successful or not. Sadly, we don't hire perfectly. Oh my God, dude. He's dunking on the lady. I'm just saying, like, he's like, he's literally putting it on the performance. Okay. So it's not, it's not literally like the company is suffering from profits or stuff. It's mainly because, okay. And this is what it is. All right, so let's actually finish this. Sad. Whether they're going to be successful or not. Sadly, we don't hire perfectly. We try to fire perfect. <laughs> we don't hire perfectly. We try to fire perfectly. Wowzer. I mean, yeah. 3.4 million views only out of 24. So I guess I hope a lot of you can see this response. Nothing wrong with it. But um, it's just what it is, right? She was on it. Hey, give me a reason. So the reason is, but this also has implications. Because if a huge CEO of a company comes and says that this person is employee or, you know, former employee, then we fired the person because of performance issues. Guess what happens, right? I mean, there are other companies that, uh, man, this is wild. And I, I hope this is not anything to do with ego. It's just realistic, real stuff that actually happened, not just made up stuff for, you know, company's image. But anyways, let me actually finish this. We tried to fire, uh, fire perfectly. In this case, clearly we were far from perfect. Okay. The video is painful for me to watch. Managers should always be involved. HR should be involved, but it shouldn't. Oh, I, sh I spoke too early, I guess. Okay, anyway. 
Managers should always be involved, HR should be involved, but it shouldn't be outsourced to them. No employee should ever actually be surprised they weren't performing. We don't always get it right. And sometimes underperforming employees don't actually listen to the feedback they've gotten before we let them go. I mean, he's, he has very good choice of words right there, no doubt. We don't always get right and sometimes underperforming, yeah. Importantly, just because we fire someone doesn't mean they're bad employee. It doesn't mean won't be, okay, doesn't mean won't be really, uh, really great somewhere else. Chris Paul was a bad fit for the Suns, but he's undoubtedly a great basketball player. Wow, now he's giving, he's giving some metamorphical, metamorphical, yeah, there it is. Chris Paul, okay. And in fact, we think, what is this? He's on a great, and in fact, we think the right thing to do is get people we know are likely to succeed off the team as quickly as possible so they can find the right place for them. <laughs> wow, we definitely weren't anywhere close to perfect in this case, but any healthy org needs to get the people who aren't performing off. That wasn't the mistake here. The mistake was not being more kind and human as we did. And that's something Jacqueline and I focus on improving. Wow. <laughs> Something to learn from this guy. I mean, well, very interesting way to put this together, right? Hey, we we, had, we let you go because of performance, but I guess we didn't get the message across nice and good. Uh, we need to get hire more people in the HR and other places so they learn courtesies and ethics, ethics, uh, what etiquettes to um, address firing properly with a silver spoon, basically, right? Hello, madam. Good morning. We just wanted to let you know that we'll fire you with a six-figure paycheck. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gents, this is what it is, okay? Just a few comments, and I'm going to give you my, well, my take on my own personal experience, okay? I feel like they were trying to scam her out of unemployment. Whoa. If you tell someone they were fired for a cause, they get un... What? Firing 40 people is a normal... Oh, yeah. If you tell you were fired for a cause, they get unemployment. Firing 40 people is a normal quarter, so you're a churn and burn company. It's a huge company though, so it's only 2.3% of the org. I mean, look at Twitch, look at Amazon, and Google fired an entire department though. And now, if they're comparing with people, like literally, I really don't know about her, what her performance, so I just can't really comment. I'm taking the words for it, okay? But as a company CEO, if I compare two person, if one person gets 7%, the other person gets 6.9, and I have to fire one, I will definitely fire 6.9. I mean, this is exactly how you know, it makes sense, unless I see some other qualities, right? So if she's saying, oh, I don't know why I'm fired and the other person is not. Well, maybe she, she did something more, right? <sighs> Anyways, then we have respect, uh, respectfully. But the fact that you do, you think you can tell within three months or less of a sales hire, there's nothing that indicates that this actually had nothing to do with performance. Anyways, I don't want to get in the comments. It's just the point is, obviously, a lot of people will get touched, right? When it comes to corporation, attack the CEOs, less for uh, help the retailers. I get it, but I'm just giving you a total unbiased perspective. Okay, um, that this is what I have for you. And last but not the least, I'm not too sure if this is gonna work out. But um, can you tell about his job layoff? I'm just curious if this is gonna work. So basically, I had a job, obviously after graduation, just one job. It took me a while to get it. And I, I don't want to drag this drama, but it's just wild. The dude just, I was cooking one day, okay? Fast forward, I was just doing this home-based work, weekly paycheck, $580, it went up to $600. If you want to know the whole story, you can actually get on my podcast, ask questions and stuff. But the point is, <laughs> I was just working from home. I was doing all I could, you know, from the tech side and doing the marketing side for the company, a Forex-based company. The dude was operating from the, there was no mention. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I have to up, up, update it. <laughs> Otherwise, based on available transit, it seems his job layoff is not covered in this episode. How about job? And how about anything to do with job? <laughs> All right, if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. But my point is, I had that, right? And then... All of a sudden, this guy comes home, my supervisor comes home. I was cooking chicken in downtown. I was with my, I was living uh, with a lot of other housemates, four other housemates. I have my own room and stuff. I was cooking, man, 10 years in the same spot, cooking. I was excited. I just got my health insurance finally because I got to go check up and all that. This guy comes over and, you know, hey, man, all good and stuff. But, you know, Dustin has to let you, let you go. What? I just, I'm just cooking in the middle of cooking, right? 
I literally didn't know how to react to that. I still remember exactly, man, the whole situation. And I'm just like laughing, crying inside and out. I'm like, I don't know what to say, man. Like, you know, and after that, he left and I called my mom. I'm like, I just got my health insurance. I don't know what to do, mom. I just found a job six months, seven months. I got laid off. Now what's next? That's when I just took a leap of faith and I went all in into the marketing. And then, of course, crypto, all this stuff has started from 2013, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, sky's the limit. So, ladies and gents, I know it's a wild experience, layoffs and all this stuff. It's not a pleasant feeling, especially when you just get into some company and you're so excited about everything that you're doing. I don't know, maybe you're excited about the paycheck and all of a sudden after four months, all the dreams shattered and nobody knows more than me losing stuff. Maybe you have to watch my podcast, but yeah, let me actually fix this. I don't know why I didn't mention the job. Work in plumbing in the provides transfer. Hmm. Anyways, take it easy. <laughs> yeah, this is a little embarrassing, but I'll see you in the next video. Peace.